Hello, um, my name is Jackie Kaomi. I'm the mother to Alita and Elaine. Alita is in middle class. Well, Elaine has just started slave school. Um, we started here last year. So I'm with Alita in baby class, and hopefully we'll go all the way through. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what has been your greatest challenge when finding the right child care practices for your children? Um, when we started, actually with my husband, and we started thinking about the right fit for our daughter. First of all, we first assessed her as a person who she is, what are her strengths and her weaknesses. Then we started looking for a school that would harness that, you know, make that grow. So a friend, actually another parent here, referred us here. And one of the things that struck out for us was that the number, the size um, of the classes. Most schools have 50, 100, God knows what. And we felt that our daughter would disappear in the crowd. So that's one of the biggest challenges we find in other schools that you know the classes are so huge so the teachers don't have time to have that one-on-one -on -one with the kids um the other ch one of the kids um the other challenge that i'll speak of is the variety in experiences um <laughs> Um, it's, it's really interesting to come here and you find kids playing on a xylophone and they're learning through music. In other schools, you find that it is blackboard, desk table, and that is the only experience they get. So that was also another challenge. We wanted to go beyond that and that we found here. So I think those are the two I can speak about. Because you find that um, the help that you have, of course, they don't really have the skills that teachers are trained to have. So you find that all they do is either put the child in front of the television or they'll tell the kid, don't touch this, don't touch that. And yet, when they touch something, they're learning. So that was the biggest challenge to engage that kid fully. Actually, when I also came here, that was one of the biggest fears I had because my daughter is extremely active. So I was so afraid that she'd get here and be bored. But thankfully, she loves everything that she does. So, yeah. This, uh, have the child care services improved your life as a mom and those of your child? Well, I think it has even made my life harder, I must say, <laughs> trying to keep up with my daughter because I find her extremely intelligent, wise beyond her years, she's mm -hmm. extremely confident. So sometimes she'll ask me something and I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with this child? I need to start reading up or I need to go and the teachers give me a few tips on how to keep up with her. Mm -hmm. But generally, she's She's really more disciplined. Mm. She's um, always eager to learn and share what she has learned. Mm. And she shares what she has learned in really interesting ways. Mm. For example, the other day she was trying to show off, but she didn't want to show that she was showing off. So she came and asked, Mommy, what's your gender? Mm. And I was so shocked. But I'm like, you know what, let me go with this. I know I'm a female. And she's like, oh, a girl. I was like, oh my goodness, what are these people teaching these children? <laughs> but yeah, but it's really nice. It's really nice to see that now she, she really, I don't know, she's surprising. She will spell her name and she won't even know that she's spelling her name. Or she'll count and say, oh my goodness, I have six crayons. And you're like, wow. Mm. These people don't just cram, but they're actually, she's actually using her brain. So it's really like small things like that. And then she's confident. She'll stand on her own amongst all the kids, like relatives. And you can see that, you know, this child will not get lost in the crowd and she's going to be a leader. That's one of the things that I am so, I can bet my life on. <laughs> I was about things. to ask you, how do you think that is going to help? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's good it's raising leader. Leader. It's Just me. At least, okay, at least my daughter. I can think about, let me think about my daughter. She's going to be a leader. Mm. Yeah, so that's one of the things, yeah, that I really like that has improved. She's super, she's sometimes we even worried that she's too confident. Mm. And we took her for a birthday party and they had, the owners of the party had organized a fashion show for like for a few kids. So she watches. Then she goes and taps the person, whispers. Next thing I know, she's in the fashion show. She's also modeling. I'm like, my goodness. But, but yeah, it's great. It's really good. Yeah. Like, you know, a kid can, so much, yeah, can you know something and not feel shy and say, and then we read, oh my goodness, sometimes I'm so tired. Mm. So then I have to, you know, keep up with that moment because I know if I slack up, then I'm doing the teachers a disservice mm. because they are raising a kid that are starting to So we read, 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 read. Right. Where's my bedtime story? I need a story. So, so yeah. So it's really good. I think I think we are making. Good.